In this video, we will understand the proof of the most important theorem of class 10th known as Basic Proportionality Theorem. This theorem is also known as Thiel's Theorem and states that if a line parallel to one side of a triangle intersects the other two sides at distinct points, then the two sides are divided in the same ratio. Let us prove this theorem by the application of similarity of triangles. Consider a triangle ABC such that line DE is parallel to side BC resulting in the formation of triangle ADE. The formed triangle ADE and the given triangle ABC can be proved similar as angle A is the common angle to both the triangles. Angle ABC equals angle ADE and angle ACB equals angle AED. Since corresponding angles are equal if lines are parallel. Therefore by angle 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 criteria, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADC which implies the corresponding sides of triangle ABC and triangle ADC are proportional. That is AB upon AD equals AC upon AE and DE upon BC. We need to prove that the ratio of side AD and BD equals ratio of side AE and EC. From equation number 1 we get ratio of AB and AD equals ratio of AC and AE. From figure side BD can be written as AB minus AD while side EC can be written as AC minus AE. On subtracting one both sides we get AB minus AD upon AD equals AC minus AE upon AE which is simplified as ratio of BD and AD equals ratio of side EC and AE. On reciprocal both sides we get ratio of AD and BD equals ratio of side AE and EC. Hence the theorem is proved. In case the ratio of corresponding sides are written as AD upon AB and AE upon AC then one must take care to simplify the terms that are not required in the proof. As side AB and side AC are not required in the proof so simplify these terms to get the side BD and side EC respectively. To simplify unnecessary terms just make sure that these terms are written in the numerator in order to do so, just take reciprocal on both sides. Therefore, ratio of side AB and AD equals ratio of side AC and AE. Now, this equation will be simplified as discussed. Moving further, let's understand the another way of proving the same theorem. Under this method, construct FE perpendicular AD acting as height for triangle ADC and DG perpendicular AE acting as second height for the same triangle ADE. Now area of triangle ADE equals half times AD into EF. Also area of the same triangle can be calculated using the second height. Therefore area of triangle ADE equals half times AE into DG. Now join point C to point D and point B to point E resulting in triangle BDE and triangle DEC with the same base DE. As by theorem, area of triangles formed on the same base and between the same parallels are equal. Therefore, area of triangle BDE equals area of triangle DEC. Area of triangle BDE can be represented as half times BD into EF. Similarly, area of triangle DEC equals half times EC into DG. Now to have ratio of side AD and BD, dividing equation 2 by equation 4 and simplifying we get ratio of triangle ADE and triangle BDE as AD upon BD. Similarly on dividing equation 3 and equation 5 we get ratio of area of triangle ADE and triangle DEC as AE upon EC. As left hand side of both the equations A and B is equal, therefore using the axiom, things which are equal to the same thing are also equal to one another. We conclude AD upon BD equals AE upon EC. Hence the theorem is proved. So this was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.